What's up guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at my list of my favorite cars that I'd love to own someday. Uh, some are a little bit more uh, realistic and some not so much. But uh, I've always kind of done this with my buddies, uh, car guys, you guys know that we always kind of make lists of the cars that you'd like to own someday or just cars that you really like. So, um, so we're just going to be taking a look at all of mine. I'd actually be really interested to see what you guys have to say. So put in the comments, put your list of cars, you know, one through whatever. I think I have about, uh, I think 20 cars in here. So leave down in the comments below kind of your favorite uh, car list or dream car list, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, so number one. Um, it's definitely going to be an 83 to 96 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Um, I just really like the pre-97 Cherokees. They're a little bit more boxy. They kind of look like my Comanche, uh, that same like old school look to it. Um, so I'd love to own a white one. Um, I would want it to be a manual, a five-speed manual, and then definitely a four-liter. It would be super cool. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, number one. Number two, the 99 to 04 uh, SVT Lightning pickup truck. Um, I like these a lot, um, kind of a different style truck, more of like a street truck versus, uh, I guess you could say like, you know, an off-roady truck, but, uh, they came from the factory with a 5.4 liter supercharged V8. Um, they came with an automatic, so I'd probably want to put like a T56 in it if I were to get one, but, uh, just super cool truck. I don't know. It's just kind of that era with the, the Cobra and, and the, and the lightning is just kind of a cool and the Lightning was kind of the precursor to the Cobra. The Lightning was the one where they first put the supercharger on it, and then they were having they had such great success with that that they figured they'd try it on the Cobra, and uh, that's kind of how the Cobra became supercharged, which is kind of cool. I uh, just really like them. Uh, definitely different, but I like them. Uh, next is going to be a C6 Corvette ZR1. Uh, I love these cars. These are probably my favorite Corvette. I do like the C7s a lot. I've driven both C6s and C7s, and I like how raw the C6s are. Uh, you just feel everything. The shifter shakes when you're driving. It's just a more raw experience. Uh, and then the ZR1, it's got it comes supercharged. Um, it's kind of like uh, the ultimate Corvette, I guess you could say. Uh, but love the styling of the C6. Love the analog gauges of the C6. They have the best looking gauges, in my opinion, for any Corvette. Um, but yeah, super super awesome car. Uh, another one on the list, this is probably my favorite car uh, of all time, the 05 to 06 Ford GT. I love it with the red, with the white racing stripes. Uh, this car can't, comes with a 5.4 liter supercharged V8, um, six speed manual transmission. Uh, it's apparently a very raw car um, and looks wise, just absolutely looks fantastic and probably one of the best sounding engines. Uh, out there so that's kind of uh they used to be um inexpensive when they first came out i mean they had a hard time selling them i think anywhere from like 125 to 150 thousand dollars they roughly cost depending on options and things like that uh and now you can't i mean now even uh, high mileage ones are going for 300,000. so um definitely a super nice car but they've kind of increased in price over time so uh, definitely probably the most attainable, I guess you could say supercar would be the Gen 5 Viper ACR. Um, those are now going up in price too. It's kind of strange. All these cars that really had a hard time selling, they, they're all increasing in price, which is kind of interesting. But uh, Gen 5 Viper, probably my favorite looking Viper. I love the ACR. It's got like the aero package, the huge wing, uh, the vented fenders. Um, I just think it's just an awesome looking car. Love the V10 sound in that. Uh, yeah, so that would definitely be uh, a super nice car to have. Another one is going to be the 03 to 04 Mach 1. Um, this is kind of the car I was looking at before I got my Cobra. Um, I really like them. They come with basically a 90, 98 to 01 Cobra motor. So it's a dual overhead cam, 32 valve, um, naturally aspirated motor. Great sounding engine. Um, it comes with that shaker hood, which is really cool. Uh, you can get them in a manual, which is what I would get. Um, and uh, the Mach 1, I'd probably do very similar things to it like I did with my Cobra. I probably would IRS swap a Mach 1. Um, probably the transmission. It's a five-speed manual transmission. Um, it's not the beefiest, but I don't think I'd really make a crazy fast Mach 1. It'd kind of be more of like a, a more docile version of the Cobra. 
but I definitely, you know, suspension, wheels, brakes, all that kind of stuff, but Mach 1s are very cool, so. Uh, another uh, Mustang on the list is a 2012 Shelby GT500. Uh, I particularly want the 2012 uh, because you can get the Recaro uh, seat package. 2011 did not have the Recaro package. Uh, 2012 came with an aluminum uh, 5.4 liter uh, supercharged V8. Um, in 13 and 14, they came out with the 5.8 liter. Not a great car. I prefer the 12s, uh, different gear ratios. Uh, first gear uh, goes to 60 in the 13 to 14 GT500. The 2012 is probably just a little bit uh, more streetable, I guess, GT500. Um, I probably would keep it pretty simple, maybe a pulley exhaust, things like that. But I, I prefer just the 12s uh, over the 13 or 14, a little bit cheaper and not as much horsepower, but uh, still a really great looking car. So kind of another uh, kind of classic car that kind of is like a resto mod, I guess you could say, but uh, Backdraft Racing, they make a Shelby Cobra like replica, I guess you could say. Uh, modern suspension, modern brakes, uh all that kind of stuff modern engine um so that would be a really cool i just love the way those things look and the backdraft kind of gives it a little bit more aggressive look i do like the classic shelby's as well um i think like factory 5 makes a kit for that so that's a little bit more like economical way to make one uh, but those are super cool i think one of those probably a very cool driving experience very small car convertible two-seater i think it'd be really uh, really fun and another car very similar to that um, is the Ariel Atom. Now, these this is like a street legal go-kart. Um, these are really cool. Uh, I've seen a bunch of different videos. They came with different versions. You could get a supercharged version. I think now they make turbocharged versions of them. But uh, probably a very cool driving experience when you're basically driving like a little go-kart on the track. And these things are just crazy fast. So that would definitely be a super unique car to have. Um, but yeah. So another, um, I, I have a lot of like 2000s, early 2000s cars. So 2005 Subaru WRX STI. I like the interior of the 05s. So they made them in 04 and 05, 05 the blah by STI, which is just the styling of the headlights. Um, I like that generation probably the most. I drove a... On my channel, I drove like a 400, 400 horsepower one, and it was so much fun. All wheel drive. Uh, I love the sound of the boxer motor with the unequal length headers. Definitely, probably the best way to make a four cylinder sound is is that setup. Uh, Turbocharged, really cool. Uh, super small car. Uh, when you're in it, when you're driving it, you feel like you're driving a little go kart. Very small. I love the way they look. Uh, all wheel drive. It's just kind of a really cool. It's it's it was different than any other car I've ever driven before. Um, All-wheel drive, small car, fast. So something like that would be really cool. I love them in white too. That's probably the color I would get. And the majority of these cars are probably probably white, and then a, like I said, for a couple of them red. Uh, but for the majority of these cars, actually, like cars more in white. I know it's kind of funny. I have a bunch of all my <laughs> all my cars are red right now. But uh, all right, so another one on the list. Uh, this is kind of like the we're we're kind of going into the crazy um, areas now, but uh, Singer Porsche, I love what they did with the uh, they take they take like classic '90s Porsches and kind of mix some modern with the super classic Porsches, uh, but they're all handcrafted handcrafted carbon fiber, uh, super cool engines. But I just love uh, just the way they look. It looks it's like that old school Porsche look with like a more of a modern, uh, not super modern, but modern enough, where kind of almost like the 2000s, they're, they have enough technology where you know it's reliable and still fun to drive, but yet you still feel everything. Um, that's why I really like that those 2000s era vehicles. They have the you know OBD2, you know all that kind of stuff, uh, you know modern brakes, all that kind of stuff. But you don't have any of like the new you know, drive-by-wire stuff that they have now, trash controls, all that stuff that kind of just uh, dull the driving experience, I guess you could say. So uh, one of those would be very cool. Uh, those are like, you know, I think they start at like $500,000. So a little, uh, little crazy there. Now, the next one is going to be the McLaren F1 LM. Now, this car is kind of a funny car. 
Um, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember that game, but this was one of the one of the cars in that game, and I just have always kind of liked that car. Um, you sit in the middle of it. Uh, it's got a V12 uh, AMG motor in it. Very cool looking car. Um, and that orange uh, color. So the F1 LM has got the rear wing on it. It's more of like their race style version of the McLaren F1. Uh, but that car, just a cool 90s supercar um, that I just really like. Uh, another one on the list is going to be the 2000 Cobra R. Uh, my buddy Bruce has one of these and uh, it's it's super cool. Uh, it's not for everyone. Uh, but uh, 5.4 liter naturally aspirated motor, uh, T56 manual transmission, independent rear suspension, kind of like uh, the track car of of the 2000s. So uh, really neat car. Kind of uh, it kind of grows on you. Uh, this th that car actually was a Need for Speed uh, as well. So a lot of these cars, a lot of the the old school video games you used to play, kind of influence kind of what cars you like eventually when you're uh, when you're older but 2000 cobra r very cool car uh definitely a more uh it kind of grows on you i guess you know the rear wing at first is kind of oh that that's weird it just i don't know just the car grows on you and i just come to really really like them and then seeing one in person and then seeing one you know fully stripped out riding in it it's just a very very cool car so another one we're going back to some jeeps so uh, I love Jurassic Park. Um, a YJ uh, Jurassic Park Jeep would be super awesome. Uh, I don't know, just kind of, uh, I love YJs. They're very cool. And then the Jurassic Park setup looks awesome. And then the Sahara, they come with the really cool seats in it. Uh, but that would be definitely a super fun project that we could do as well, just kind of painting it up and kind of making it a Jurassic, taking a regular YJ Sahara and turning it into a Jurassic Park Jeep. I think it would be kind of cool. Uh, another one is going to be a World War II Jeep, so either a Willis MB or a Ford GPW, either one of those, they're you know pretty much the same. Um, but a World War II Jeep, that would be uh, really cool. I'm a big history buff, really love World War II, so being able to have uh, you know uh, not only a Jeep that kind of started it all, but you know a piece of history would be really cool, really cool to have. So yeah, so that would be that would be very cool. I'd love to have one of those. Uh, another one is going to be another New Edge Mustang. Uh, I really like the 9904 uh, S281 uh, Mustangs, the Celine. Uh, they come with the, you can get them with the supercharger, so it's a supercharged two valve. Um, I love the rear bumper uh, on them. Uh, kind of definitely a very different looking uh, Mustang. Kind of, uh, I don't know, not not ricey, but kind of. Uh, the front bumper is a little little crazy looking, but uh, I don't know. I just think they're really cool, uh, just definitely unique, and uh, yeah. Uh, another one that's going to be a supercar is going to be the Lamborghini Gallardo. Uh, I like the Super Leggera version, which is like, I think, Italian for super lightweight. It's got carbon fiber bits all over it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I definitely would want a manual. I don't know if they came in a manual, uh, but I would want uh, a manual though. But I love that V10. That's probably the best sounding V10, even over the Viper. Um, that's out there is the Gallardo V10. Um, I don't know, super cool looking car. Love the love the engine in that, but uh, yeah. Uh, next one's gonna be a Gen One SCT Lightning. So the other ones I was talking about were the second gen, but I would want a first gen. Uh, just super cool looking truck. Uh, my dad actually had a not a Lightning, but it was an F two fifty. I think it was a ninety ninety one. Um, so a little bit earlier, but I just love the old boxy classic 90s pickup uh, and then the lightnings came with a 5.8 liter which my dad's f-250 had the 5.8 in it not not the same uh you know tuning and everything like that but some, you know 5.8 liter v8 uh really cool truck i'd probably want a manual swap it because they did they did only come in autos um i think a gen 1 lightning with the gen 2 lightning powertrain would be super awesome so throw a 5.4 liter supercharged v8 in there i think that would be super cool um, and then last on the list of the cars that I don't own, uh, kind of a weird one, uh, BMW M5 E39. Uh, it's the four-door M5 uh, V8 manual. Just kind of a cool, I'm not a huge BMW guy, but like I said, uh, Need for Speed. Used to use this car a lot. Uh, just really cool looking uh, 
really cool looking sedan. It's got a V8. It's manual. It's two thousands. It's kind of just kind of got it that cool look. And then uh, finally, I have my TJ, which is my dream uh, Jeep. And then the Cobra, obviously, and then uh, uh, the Comanche. So those are the three that I have now. Uh, but uh, well, yeah, that's just kind of my. Uh, dream list of cars but uh yeah definitely let me know in the comments below uh put your car list i'm kind of interested to see what uh you guys kind of have in your list but uh, anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if it did please give the video a thumbs up definitely consider subscribing that helps me a bunch guys and we'll see you guys in the next video